when you're opening a capacitor bank, you must use a load buster device. Normally, if there's ever any more than 10 amps going across the switch, you must use some sort of load buster device or a load brake cutout. What's up guys, you're watching Bob's Decline. I've actually got a problem down the road from here and I've got uh, another guy coming to give me a hand. Now, he's about 45 minutes away. So while he's heading down, um, not far from the work site, there is a capacitor bank, the center phase open. So once you have one phase open of the capacitor bank, you might as well open the other two phases. It's, it's not doing a whole lot in the system at that point. It's gonna unbalance the load on the three phases. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to throw the camera on and uh, we're going to do an amp check on those capacitors before I open them up. So once they are open, I'm going to untap the leads. We'll create a work order for the uh, crew to come by and remove that capacitor from service, install a new one, or they can simply test the one that's up in the air. Uh, usually if that fuse is blown, that capacitor is no longer any good. So it's not likely that a, an on-site test is going to accomplish a whole lot. So they'll get that out of service, install a new one, close it back in when they're ready. I'm gonna throw a tag on the pole to indicate which one went bad. So let's let's throw the camera on while we go up here. We'll get all geared up and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, so we've got our clip-on ammeter all set on our insulated stick. We got our grab ball and our AB stick. And we've got our AB stick with a low buster device. So it looks like we're pretty well ready to rock and roll. Let's take a look at this. Alright, so you can see here where the center phase is blown open. So basically we're going to take those capacitors out of service right now. And of course, before every single use of your load buster device, you want to do a function test, make sure the spring activates, release it, make sure there's still tension within the device. This guy right here, one and see what kind of amperage we got coming out of those capacitors. So I'm not sure if you can see the screen on that or not. We got zero amps now. Let's clip onto that. Buster device, it's always easiest if you hook it on the side opposite to you. Now, here I don't have a whole lot of room before in between them two phases, so we're gonna hook it on the front side, clip that fall in. My a little bit. There. All right, boom, pull it to the side. one should work much easier. You see where that pin is, there's not a whole lot of room between them two phases. Mind you, the center is open. Put that ball on. Good to go. Boom. 
All right. Let's go and tap those pups. Those capacitors will hold a charge, so I'm not even touching them in this case, but if you were working on them, uh, proper procedure is to wait five or 10 minutes. There is a bleeder built inside them to drain off any excess charge. Then you check for potential and install your grounds and go to work. Right on guys, so that was just a quick one for you here today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop me a fist bump along with where you're watching from down in the comments and we'll see you next time.